Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. We got an exciting one for you today. Uh, we got a our EBMX 72 volt, 57 amp hour battery. Huge battery. It's li it's literally the biggest one that you can get for the bike right now. Sitting right here next to our stock battery. This is the stock Talaria battery. It's uh, 60 volts, uh, 38 amp hours. Yeah, we're gonna be checking it out um, just in this video, and then the next video we're gonna be riding with it. It's because it's been raining. I was, I did film an unboxing video, but it started to pour and you couldn't hear me talk. We're just refilming it after we unbox it. Okay, so here is it next to the stock battery. It's just slightly taller, probably an inch, not including the little lift here. And on this side, we got a charging port, which I thought was a stock Suron charger port. So I didn't really look into it that much, but apparently it's an aftermarket charger that you have to get. You can get it from EBMX or Grit Shift, I found out. But if you guys are buying this battery, make sure you buy an aftermarket charger because it doesn't ship with it. I got the battery, but now I can't charge it. So I got a charger on the way, but if you guys have ordered the battery or if you're gonna order the battery, be aware you have to buy a second charger. Um, when you buy the battery, you also get this uh, this cap, this battery cap comes with it because the battery is just a little too big for the stop cap. So this is it. It fits very nicely on there. It doesn't wobble. And I was honestly really worried about um, its durability because it's made, it's 3D printed. And I, I 3D printed a lot of parts on the bike, like the number plate, 3D printed. Um, and a lot of them, uh, they're really easy to break. But after opening the box and checking it out, this is pretty darn sturdy. It's not gonna break. It doesn't wobble, so um, that was a big relief. I thought this was gonna be sketchy AF, but it wasn't. It works fine. All you have to do is take off the stock one and put this one on. It clamps on the same way, so no big deal there. It has a charging port cut out on this side. Looks wise, I'm kind of warming up to it. Okay, so putting the battery in. <laughs> that might be a thumbnail. One thing I'm gonna mention before we put this in the bike, but I still have it out. Um, what's really different about this battery and how they can get so many, how they can make it a 70 volt, 72 volt system with 57 amp hours uh, on basically the same size as the stock pack. Um, because the stock pack is using 18650 cells, the cylindrical cells that go inside uh, just a regular battery pack. In this pack, they have pouch cells, and the pouch cells, you can get a lot more energy inside of the cells. So this is just solid battery. There's no air or anything. They puttied it all in so it doesn't move. You can notice it, like if you, like if you pick it up and touch it, it's super solid. That versus, like that, that sounds way different. There's a lot more power in basically the same amount of space. So this is almost just as powerful as a Storm B battery. They got it in a stainless steel case, really nice finish. Anyway, let's put it in the bike. And it slides right in. And probably the best thing, it doesn't have any play like the stock one. So it won't be rattling while you're riding. Plugs in on the side. There we go. Very nice. Flip the breaker on. And then the lid comes down, clips on, nice and sturdy, very precise fit. So that's all that the uh, battery came with. It just came with the battery and then the cover. Um, like I said, be aware that you have to buy an aftermarket charger because I did not realize that and I opened it and I was like, oh shit, this doesn't fit. We are officially be riding a 72 volt system now versus um, a 60 volt system. I run 60 volts strictly in my Suron and in my Talaria uh, this entire time. They've either been bypass batteries or upgraded batteries from Qi. And while I could do, I could do like extra power, so I could set my bike to 10,000 watts, but it would it would still be a 60 volt system. Um, like a 60 volt system and a 72 volt system is a the higher the voltage of system, um, the less amps you have to use to achieve. A certain amount of watts. So if I wanted to do uh, 9,000 watts um, for a 60 volt system, I'd have to be using 150 amps to reach that 9,000 watts. Well, if it was 72 volts, 
I'd only have to be using 125 amps to reach the same wattage, 9,000. I actually have less amp hours in this battery as my Qi, only three, but I have less amp hours in it, but since it's a 72 volt system, it will go much farther because it's a lot, uh, I'm using a lot less power to get to the same amount of wattage. Anyway guys, that is the Tolaria, the EVMX Tolaria 72 volt, 57 amp hour battery. It's gonna be a beast. Okay. I am 99% sure that this will get us through our races on one charge with uh, extra power, eight, 9,000 watts. Um, if it doesn't, then, I mean, if this one doesn't do it, then none, none can. So next video, we're gonna be riding it. I've actually never ridden a 72 volt system. <laughs> like I said, I've always been on the 60 volts. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.